Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. If you're regular here, you know I review many photographic, audio and video related products. Well, I'm really excited today to be reviewing the new Viltrox 75mm f1.2 lens for the Sony E-mount APS-C bodies. So that's like the new Sony A6700, 6500, 6000, so on and so forth. That is a beautiful lens. It's a really, really, really nice lens. I'm gonna go through its features uh, of this lens with you, um, as well as I'm gonna go through some of the images that I've taken with this lens, and I've only had it a few days. I wanted to get this video out as soon as I can because I just love this lens. I really do think Viltrox are onto a winner with this lens. And I really hope that it's a huge success for Viltrox because I think it's a great, great lens, great value for money and produces great results. Um, but we'll go through some of the images on my computer that I've taken both with the Sony A6600, which we have here. I've used it on my A6600, um, but I've used it predominantly with a new A6700, only because it's a, a new camera. I've only had it a few days um, and I wanted to try it on the latest camera. Uh, and also this has got a 26 megapixel sensor. So it's a slightly better sensor than what the 6600 is. And it's got much better, I say much better, it's got more accurate animal IAF on the 6700 that we have here than it does than the A6600 has. And when you're shooting at f1.2, with any f1.2 lens, not just this particular lens, any f1.2 lens, you need to get your focus absolutely critical because the depth of field is so narrow that it will become out of focus very quickly from the actual focus point. But it looks beautiful with this lens. I, I'm, I'm staggered how much I love this lens. And I'm going to be using it, as I say, on a regular basis. I'm absolutely staggered. And it certainly matches, if not exceeds, a lot of stuff you'll get with a full frame body. I know a lot of people talk and say, with an APS-C body, you can't get that lovely creamy bokeh. You can't get that full frame look that you get with a full frame body. But with this lens, you can get that full frame look. You absolutely can. I, I, I really do highly recommend you take a look at these images on my Flickr page or my Smug Mug page and you see for yourself. Rather than seeing them on my YouTube channel, because I'm only going to flick through some images here on this video, take a closer look at them on my Smug Mug and Flickr page. And I defy you to tell me that these don't match the quality that you'll get from a full frame body that you're getting from an APS-C body. Um, and as I say, it is a crop sensor lens. That has made it more compact. It's still quite a bulky lens and it's still quite a heavy lens, but it's nowhere near the size and bulk and price that you would get if it was a full frame lens. So here we go, this is the lens, a detachable uh, lens hood, well made lens hood. It is plastic, but it's a nicely made lens hood. Um, 77 mil filter front. So uh, if you're shooting outdoors and you're doing video particularly, you will need a, a ND filter. I actually purchased the KNF uh, variable ND filter, 77 mil uh, to fit on this lens for when I am doing video outdoors. Uh, I will be doing a short video clip uh, using this lens either outdoors or in the studio here so you can see how great it is for video. Um, its autofocus is beautiful, it's snappy, and it works really well both in photography and for video. So if you are a videographer, don't worry about using this lens for video, you certainly, certainly can do. And you get that lovely, buttery smooth bokeh in the background, and you'll see that when you see the video clip that's shot on this lens. Um, but yeah, 77 mil filter front. On the side, you have your, um, it's got the one switch on the side there for de-clicking the aperture ring because it's got a separate aperture ring, uh, which is really, really nice and it's really smooth. So you can either have it clickable or you can actually change that to be, uh, you can de-click it by just flicking that switch over and then that's clickable and then you can de-click it. Certainly for videographers, you would want it de-clicked so that if you're changing the aperture, you um, don't hear it. And then that's now de-clicked. So you get a lovely smooth aperture change or you can set it to automatic. Now with the 6700, I have it set to automatic and I adjust the apertures using the control dial on the front of a camera with the A6700. But 
If you're using something like the A6600 that hasn't got your control dial on the front, you've now got a separate aperture, a separate aperture ring on the actual lens. And I think that is, that is a really, really nice feature that it, Viltrox have introduced there. And it's also got your autofocus, manual focus switch on the other side. And that's also the nice thing. They've actually separated the control dials. They're not next to each other. So uh, you know, your muscle memory is gonna be better. One's on one side, one's on the other side. I think that is great. So you've got your autofocus, manual focus switch on the lens. Again, that is great because a lot of the Sony cameras don't have an automatic manual focus switch on the body. You have to go into the menu to change it. You don't have to with this lens. You just change it on the, well, on the body of the lens. And it's also got a function button on the side. You set that up in the camera and you can set that up for all sorts of things. Uh, exposure compensation, ISO, um, uh, white balance, a whole number of different uh, functions you might want quick access to, but you can just push that button in and that'll give you quick access to the um, functions. It's got a metal mount on the back and it's also got weather sealing. So uh, that is great. Uh, again, being a pro lens, you would kind of expect that. Um, but it's the image quality that I think is uh, awesome with this lens. It is quite weighty. It weighs 675 grams. So it's not no lightweight, but the quality of the build is phenomenal. It's beautifully made. It really, really is nicely made. So, um, you know, and the focus ring, if you are using manual focus, is again smooth. It's really, really nice and smooth. Excellent, excellent quality. Really, really do like that. What we will do now is take a quick look at some of the images I've taken with the Viltrox 75mm f1.2 lens on both the 6700 and my Sony a6600. And I think you'll find they're beautiful. They really are nice images. They'll be up on my Flickr page and my Smug Mug page. If you do want to download any of the photo editing software, there'll be a link to that as well. And also there'll be discount codes. If you do decide you want to purchase either Luminar Neo or ON1 Photo Raw, I'm using ON1 Photo Raw raw of a moment it's a great bit of software great for your photo ai editing uh replacing skies uh, it does all the other things that lightroom does uh, but we'll have a quick look at some of these images now you know the clarity and the sharpness is lovely the contrast is really really nice um now i think we all just want to look at what the bokeh is like though using this lens shot at f1.2 so i mean look at that absolutely crisp crisp and sharp where it's, the focus point is and we're looking at this little is it a petal this little leaf here of this plant but look how creamy and buttery smooth the background is i just think it's gorgeous i really do think it's absolutely gorgeous um again there it's really really beautifully sharp where i intended it to be but it's fallen off really nicely where the focus has fallen off into right out of focus. And that is great. Again, look at there, creamy, creamy, buttery, smooth out of focus. But let's go through to some of the uh, portrait images I've taken of the cats. Um, because a 75mm lens is about 112 in full frame terms, as I said earlier. So it's a fantastic portrait lens. If you are taking portraits of either animals or humans, um, absolutely beautiful. If we look at some of these images I've taken here of little Sammy and of Molly, but if we look at little Sammy here, um, we go full screen. You know, it's really brought him out, uh, and particularly his face, because it was his eyes that I was focusing on, you know, and it's really, really highlighted uh, him. And the background is so buttery smooth. It's beautiful. Look at that. And, you know, I haven't used additional lighting or anything like that. It's just daylight out in a garden. And it's creamy. It is really creamy. I strongly believe this combination is awesome. And this lens is such fantastic value for money for taking really professional looking, uh, you know, portraits of whether it be pets animals or whether it be humans uh, on this occasion it happens to be animals um, particularly my little sammy um, but uh, creamy 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 i love it i mean that is just absolutely gorgeous i mean i could crop that even tighter let me uh let's have a look at that see um 
I'm just going to do this just for a bit of fun. Let's go into edit mode. Let's go into crop. Crop that, something like that. Let's go full screen. Look at that. That is such a beautiful portrait of little Sammy. No distractions at all. The background, you can have a really busy background and it throws it completely out of focus when you're shooting at f1.2. Obviously, the lens isn't stuck to f1.2. I mean, you, you know, you can set to f3, f4, whatever you might want to do. That has got a really nice aperture ring for being able to do that. And also, it's great in low light because you can open it right up to f1.2. So all in all, you know, a very, very flexible and a very, very nice lens. But I, for one, um, I'm always going to highly recommend. There will be a link in the description where you can purchase the uh, Viltrox lens from and where you can get from, more information from. But yeah, um, I, I, for one, love this lens. I love its, flex, its flexibility. Again, look at that one there. The, you know, the focus is great, but I mean, look at that. Lovely little, you know, lovely image of little Molly, you know, asleep on the path. But the eye is drawn to her and not what's going on around her in the background or even in the foreground. So, um, and again, now these images were taken on the A6600. So it's equally at home on the earlier Sony cameras as well as the new 6700. So I don't think you have to use it on the 6700, you can use it on the 6500, 6000, even the NEX range. You're still going to get great, great images with it. So, um, yeah, beautiful. Look at that. That's on the 6600. Absolutely tag sharp. Tag sharp where you want it to be, but a nice, creamy, out of focus where you don't want it to be sharp. Um, where you want it to be, you know, nice and blurry again. Look at that sharpness and look at that lovely buttery smooth out of focus area. So yeah, there we go. That is uh, just an initial look. There will be more videos to do with the 6700. Now I'm going to stick this on my 6700 and do a quick video clip here in the studio so you can see how fabulous this lens will be for your video recording. And when you're shooting the f1.2, it, the IAF is critical, and I think you'll see how great the, these Sony cameras hold on to the eye uh, and it doesn't drift. And that's what I'm hoping anyway. So, yeah, let's now try it on the 6700 um, for video so you guys and girls can see how good it is. And I'll shoot it at f1.2. Uh, hopefully, I can do that in this sort of lighting and we'll see how good that is. So, let's now switch it over. I've now put the Viltrox 75mm f1.2 lens on my A6700 and that's the scene you're looking at now. I think you'll find it's lovely, isn't it? I'm shooting at f1.2 uh, with a shutter speed at 150th. I've got it set to S Cinetone on the 6700 so it should give me some nice natural skin tones. But we're looking at the bokeh in the background. It should be nice and smooth and nice and creamy uh, because I am shooting at f1.2. The background is quite close to me but I think you'll find as a portrait lens for video, it is great. Now, obviously, you have to have a camera uh, quite a distance away from the person you're filming because it is a equivalent to 112 mil. So here in the studio is quite awkward for me because I can't get the camera that far away. But I have done so, and I think you'll find it's looking beautiful. It's really, really good. So I really do like this lens, and I will be using it for video as well as for stills but I really am enjoying the stills that I showed you earlier on my computer, how good the stills are that come off the A6600 and the 6700 using this Viltrox lens. It's a fantastic lens and a great, great portrait lens. So there we go. That's a video clip of the Viltrox uh, f1.2 lens. I think you'll find the autofocus is working beautiful, uh, so you'll have no issues with autofocus. Uh, if I quickly do this so you can actually see how quick the lens does adjust, between you know anything you put up in front of it and uh, what it's actually filming. Um, it's nice and smooth, the transitions are smooth. 
that's the Viltrox uh, uh, 80, uh, 75 mm lens, the Viltrox 75 mm Pro lens, Pro f1.2 lens that I've got fitted to my A6700. So there we go. Thanks very much for watching. I hope you found my videos useful. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done so. Hit the like button if you like the content of this video. That would be really, really great. And leave any comments in the comments section. And it's well worth subscribing because there are going to be more videos about this lens, uh, how I use it and using it on different cameras, uh, so on and so forth. So there we go. Thanks very much. Cheers for now. Bye.